1897, news of gold in the Klondike made headlines around the world and sparked a stampede of fortune hunters to journey north. Back then, without road or rail, the trek to Dawson City could take months. Steamships along the Pacific coast delivered hopeful miners to Skagway and Dahi, Alaska. From there, it was a grueling trek by horse or foot. First, through steep mountain passes. Then, across the treacherous rapids of the Yukon River. Many lost supplies along the way. Others lost their lives. Those who made it safely to Dawson City discovered a booming town filled with gambling, brothels, saloons, and dance halls. It was dubbed the Paris of the North. At the peak of the gold rush, over 30,000 people called Dawson City home, and more than $29 million worth of gold had been dug out of the ground. But by 1899, as rumors of depletion ran rampant, and word spread of rich gold in Nome, Alaska, miners began their exodus from the Yukon. Almost as quickly as it began, the Klondike Gold Rush was over. But the old timers didn't find everything. More than a century later, modern day fortune hunters risk it all for a chance to strike it rich. Thank you.